And then over here we have the spinal trapezius, right, right there, sorry, okay. Then we have the acromotrapezius, which is this thin triangular shaped muscle here. Then we have the clavotrapezius, it's still got a lot of fat on it, this guy. Um, yeah, we try. Yeah, no, yeah, okay. Give it there all. Okay, give it for the river, right? All right. Okay, so there we go. You can see that, it's a little better exposed. There's your clavotrapezius there. Temporalis and your masseter, all right? So I'm gonna roll them over, we can expose the, the throat area. And what you can see here is you can see the two pectoralis minors, and then the pectoralis majors are the ones, and you can, you can really judge by the, by, the, by the striations. Here the striations of the muscle, the lines in the muscle, are going this way and this way, and then the pectoralis minors are going that way, which makes perfect sense that they'd be different muscles. Now, the tougher one to find here is the clavodeltoid, because where the pectoralis major comes in, before it attaches to the arm, it disappears underneath the clavodeltoid, and you can see there's a little line there, and I'm just going to probe it up. Well, you guys got some fat in this guy. <coughs> All right, so I'm just loosening it. There's your clavodeltoid. So clavodeltoid, pectoralis major, pectoralis minor. This great big muscle here that these guys haven't cut yet is the uh, sternomastoid. There is a natural incision in it that they put to, to put the uh, dye in. So I'm going to just extend that a bit down to the pec muscles. And then, and I think most of you, have, I, when I went around and looked, most of you have this part already done. So I'm going to sort of pull that apart as best I can. And I'm going to go up, all right, to the jaw, and then I'm going to, uh, it won't be too bad, but, oh, you know, what's a little make between friends, right? <laughs> all right, so I'm going to open that up, and what you are going to see are the two ribbon-like sternohyoids underneath the sternomastoid. Boy, he's well put together. <laughs> okay, and they're there, there. Okay, see them? Those two ribbon-like muscles? And they're actually joined together. You can separate them if you want to remember that they're two ribbon-like muscles. There. Okay, and then underneath that is obviously the trachea. Those two sternohyoids come up and they connect. And where they connect, my finger getting in the way, is right here. They connect at this muscle, which is the mylohyoid. So the two sternohyoids come up and connect at the mylohyoid. And then on both sides of the mylohyoid, here and here, that's where the digastric muscles are. So digastric, digastric, mylohyoid, sternohyoid, trachea, sternomastoid, clavodeltoid, pectoralis major, pectoralis minor. T99 to the office, please. T99. And then the ones I already mentioned, dorsal patricularis, triceps long, triceps lateral. Dors um, latissimus dorsi, uh, spinotrapezius, acromotrapezius, clavotrapezius, temporalis, and masseter. And once you've got that done, then l last day's muscles are complete. Okay? So now to do this week's muscles, could someone turn the page to the next page? Thank you. Just lay it out. So if, we, if we're going to look here, what we've got toward the back is we have internal abdominal obliques and external abdominal obliques. They're really easy to see. Uh, when I, there's no, really no probing to do here. Uh, you'll notice if you just sort of drag your, your probe along that there's a natural line. See it right there? Okay. And so that's going to just mark the difference between your external abdominal obliques and your internal abdominal obliques. Nothing really to, to fancy there. The outside of the leg can be, and this one is rather fatty, uh, so you're, I'm going to ask these guys to clear a lot of this away. And in fact, I might have, have them do that before we can get in any further so we can expose as much of this as possible. Okay. All right. And what we're looking for here are, is the sartorus and the semitendinosus, which is pretty straightforward. The semitendinosus... It's kind of like the dorsal epitrochlearis. Look, it attaches right to the outer part of this leg. There it is. See it? Okay. So there's your sartorus right there on the outside part of the leg. Now, in previous years, we've had more time. We've done all these small muscles in here. We're not going to do them this year. This is the semitendinosus. Now, the semitendinosus is a little more difficult but it's a little muscle that runs right up, as you can see, right along the base of the tail, 
right there. Okay? So there's your semitendinosus, there's your sartorius. This large muscle right toward the back of the leg is your biceps femoris, and your biceps femoris is pretty hard to miss. So biceps femoris, sartoris, semitendinosus. Internal abdominal obliques, external abdominal obliques. Okay? Once you've identified those, we're going to turn to the, the inside. Now, the inside of the leg, over here on this side of the sheet, looks totally different than that side of the sheet because this is what's on the outside. The sartoris and the gracilis is on the outside, and underneath are all these little muscles. So I'm going to choose one leg to remove the sartorius and gracilis, and one leg to keep it, so I can you know, revisit them later. So, I'm going to remove this one. The whole leg? No, no, the, the sartorius and the gracilis. Oh, Good <laughs> heavens. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not doing that. All right, so I'm just going to pull back and expose as much of the muscle from the genitalia and the fat as I can. Okay, so, um, someone have a scalpel handy? or a pair of scissors? If not, could someone get me a pair? Okay. So, thank you. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the probe, there's a natural line between the sartorius and the gracilis right there, and I'm gonna put my probe underneath of that and get right up under the sartorius when I, where I saw it on the other side. Remember when I showed it to you? So there we go. And what I'm gonna do is I stuck my probe in now. So now I know I'm not gonna go too deep. I'm just gonna go to my probe with the scissor. Or scalpel, whatever you want to use. There. Okay, that way I'm not cutting, you know, too deep. And then I'm going to peel that right back, like that. Like I'm peeling a banana. Oh, Mr. B, you ready to get your bananas? Okay, so we'll get that right back. You might want to consider another store. All right, and then this is obviously my gracilis right here. And again, don't go too deep. soon as I can get, there it is, and when I get my sartoris, I'm going to simply cut that free. <coughs> and then pull that back. Okay. Ta-da. Okay, now I've exposed the inner part of the leg. You've got to be careful with this diagram and look closely, because the first muscle is the rectus femoris. And that is the one that is, right here, right at the top. Very obvious, right at the top. The next one down, you would think, is the adductor longus, but it's not. That's deeper in. The next one down is actually the third muscle listed, the vastus medialis. So have a look here, because this can get a little tricky. Here's your, um, your rectus femoris. Attached directly to it is this little thin groin muscle right here. It's literally attached right to the rectus femoris. And that is your vastus medialis. <coughs> okay? Right there. Got it? Okay? So now how do we get some of these deeper ones? There's an adductor longus and an adductor brevis. Obviously one's long and one's brief. Mm -hmm. um, so what I'm doing, and I'm going to get your gloves on there, Evan. Grab his torso and, and kind of wrench it towards you. Yeah, just kind of wrench it toward, pull them this way. No, yeah, rotate. There we go. All right, so that sort of exposes more here. What I have to do is there's some nervous tissue and vascular tissue right here, and I'm going to get rid of that. See, you can see, yeah, no, I've got it, because that's all the latex. All that red stuff is the red latex that they put in those arteries and veins. And I'm rolling that forward. And what I'm going to see when I do that is I'm exposing two muscles underneath. One is rather long and quite deep. Right there. How many people know who Elvis Stoiko is? Who is he? Oh my god, really? Who's, am I that old? Elvis Stoiko. Not a clue? He's a Canadian figure skater. And he came... Oh god, you guys. At the Olympics. And he came... He got the silver medal because he pulled a groin muscle. That's the one he pulled. That's his adductor longus right there. This mink would never go into figure skating. All right, so there's the adductor longus. It's the deep one. Right next to it is the adductor brevis. Now, you've got to be careful with this one. 
it's another triangular muscle, and it's right there. So there is the longus. It's actually quite thin, but long. Then there's the adductor brevis, which you see right there. And then this great big one here is called the semimembranosus. This is the biggest muscle inside here. Great big one. And then there's the semitendinosus. Remember the semitendinosus we found on the outside? Well, it actually comes right down and comes up through here. It's the same muscle. So here's your semitendinosus, semimembranosus, adductor brevis, adductor longus, vastus medialis, rectus femoris, sartorius gracilis, which I've removed over here. Okay, so sartorius gracilis, which are gone, rectus femoris, vastus medialis, adductor long, adductor brevis, semimembranosus, semitendinosus. Okay, and that does your inside leg. If you get to the end of that today, all your muscles are done. Okay?